Yo, what's up everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod to Fame and we are back with another video. This one is really major though, guys. It is the race that a lot of you all have been wanting to see and that is the Mustang Shelby GT500 versus the Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye. Ford's latest and greatest versus Dodge's latest and greatest, man. And it's happening here right now. Let's jump into the video, let's go. So in case you're wondering, the Shelby GT500, if you don't know, has very similar setup. 5.2 liter V8 with a root style supercharger uh, sitting on top. And then you have the Dodge Challenger Hellcat, which has a 6.2 liter, same style of supercharger sitting on top. Now, the beautiful thing about that is they've done a really good job with the Shelby GT500 because it makes 760 horsepower, whereas the Dodge Challenger Red Eye makes 797 with a full liter more of engine size. So, you know, kudos to the Shelby on that one. But we're at the proper place to make this happen, man. This race has to go down. We have eight speed automatic versus dual clutch transmission. We have closer to a proper drag car versus a all around do it all sports car. And we're at the drag strip right now to make it happen, man. That's right, and it's the 1320. We're going a full quarter mile and uh, yeah, I'm super excited to get this done. Um, I actually don't know who's gonna win. I'm gonna win. And let's jump into it, man. Let's make it happen. What's going on? There he is, there he is. What's up, brother? The slow guy here. Say, what's, what's up, up to you? Oh, what's what's up? This guy <laughs> kept me up all night snoring. What's up, baby? How you doing, dog? What up, man? Good to see you, brother. Pleasure, Pleasure. Man. Pleasure. I'm excited. Oh, I wasn't supposed to shake y'all hand. I forgot. Ah. Oh. I don't know how to play the mean no guy. No, 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 no. We're all friends. I don't know, but I was, I was supposed to act it out as if, you know, as if we're not friends, you know what I'm saying? No, we're buddies. I, I was supposed to act it out. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna set we're gonna we're gonna set the internet on fire with what we do today. You guys cars are looking like so you went and wash your car? Alright, there it is guys. Uh, the Hulk. Bruce there Bam. it is guys. Yeah, this, Bruce right now. You gotta see the Hulk and <laughs> This this one is uh this one is the Hulk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a little voice crack when he said that. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, man, it, it came a few years late, but it's here. <laughs> I know Demonology got that Thanos that saved. He's waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm going to tell Marvel you put it out, too. He put it out. He's going to copyright it now. I mentioned that to him. I was like, you know, if you feature, he's going to use the clip of Thanos whoops his ass. He's like, yeah. he already told me he wants it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, so here we go, man. Just talk about the red eye real quick. Um, as I was saying, this red eye is completely, completely in stock form right now, like as if it rolled off the showroom floor. And the only thing that we're changing, uh, Matt Hornbuckle is changing, this is his car. Uh, he owns a detail center, drove his car all the way from Alabama so that we could run it. But uh, the only thing we're changing for the race with Stang Mode is we're gonna put on the, the Demon Nitto NTO5Rs. Stang Mode, like I said, is on the Toyo Triple Eight, so I feel like it's pretty fair. You know what I mean? It's, it's damn near like close to fair, full weight, both cars, stock trim, only difference is a tire. That's it. So this is what you guys have been waiting to see, man. And super thanks to Stangmo for putting this together. He gave me a call, said, let's make it happen. And Demonology and I flew out. Uh, Matt Hornbuckle bought the Demon and the uh, the Red Eye. So that's it, man. We're going to make it happen. We're going to run it. And whatever happens, happens. Meaning when I win, I win. <laughs> <laughs> So, Incredible Hemi, Incredible Hemi just made me realize this is the heaviest version of this car because this car has all the options and it has a sunroof. So, my car weighs 44. This car, sunroof, all the options is probably closer to around 45, 25. So, it's the heaviest version that you could possibly have in this car. weight advantage on you, about 400 pounds. The car's about 4,000 heads. Correct, yeah. correct. So, the Mustang has about a 300. About 300. About 300 uh, weight advantage, 300 pound weight advantage. Um, but we got a slight power advantage. What, 30 horsepower or something? 30 horsepower. You got a big torque advantage. Though. And a big torque advantage, and a, and hopefully if there's traction, a big launch advantage. So we'll see. Okay. This do right I have here. a problem with you taking off the rain tray? Right here. What is that gonna do? Just it lets it allow, allow cooling. Why would I have a problem with that? I'm just asking you. I'm gonna make I'm make sure it's all fair. I'm not drag times. I'm not street speed. I don't give a Listen, what you do. I don't give a what you do. All right. <laughs> I had to throw that in there real quick. <laughs> These guys they, go play. They're mad because you have an 18 inch tire compared to my 20 inch wheelbarrow. That's why. Bro, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Thank you. 
see me? I don't know if they allow a passenger or not. But it's better to ask for forgiveness than ask for yeah. permission. I think we might have to wait. Yeah, I don't think they'll let us run right now anyway. All right, guys, so here we are inside of the Red Eye. The owner of the vehicle, Matt, he's going to uh, do a test pass for me. You know, let's, let's, let's get comfortable. Let's see how the car is running and take it from there. Yes, sir. Uh, Stang Mo did his test pass. We saw that. So, okay, we good to go. He said, come on with it. He said, just turn them over real quick. Just turn them over real quick. All right, good, 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 good. good. And, then, and then now he wants you to pull up and do All a right, burnout up here. Get your burnout. Break it after a let off, it hooked. Yeah, so, so we just gotta go off anything. the right, no foot, no foot breaking, just go off the dead stop. That's what well, I, I think. I it's gonna shock it if you do. I think it's gonna spin either way. So I think, um, you know, you, you roll out and roll like, into it, with it roll into the right. Okay, that's what I did with his car when I drove his demon, right? I kind of just rolled into it like I, I foot braked it, then I just I let out the brake, but I didn't just mat it, I just rolled into it. See, his car hooked better, the green one hooked better with a 20 than this one did with an 18. It did. Still screaming the tire. It did, it did. He didn't, he didn't move, move at all, man. <laughs> right here man this is if we can do this every time we good to go all right well when you're ready i'm ready all right let's go for it Yo, real talk, no excuses. Y'all see what just happened to the GT500, right? Spun his ass off bad in this lane. I did the same thing. I spun in this lane pretty bad. Uh, what we finding is that, like, I'm stepping on it, and 
it's not like sticky at all. But if you step out here, see it? So for this run, we're gonna make a new groove. We gotta make a new groove because that, I mean, we can't spin like that again. That was, my spin was bad, bro. The run before that, when it was still sticky, I ran a 10-5, no problem, with a 1-4-60 foot. I just ran a 11-3 with a 1-8-9, almost 1, almost 1-9-60 foot. Anyway, that's what happens, man. It's called drag racing, brother. It's called drag racing. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, round two. This time, the owner of the car is driving the red eye. Cause hey, your boy spun. He like, nah, I ain't going down like that. My car is faster, so <laughs> we're gonna put him outside of the groove. We're gonna reset it, put him outside the groove. Cause this groove is not sticky anymore. And take it from there. I want it to be a nice even race. That's why I don't want no spinning. Both cars spun. Both cars spun a little bit, but they both got off together. And once they both got off, that Hellcat held it all the way down the track. As y'all can see, Give me the win, man. They, both, they don't they want both, none. They both, they both hey, man, sprung. they don't want none, man. They can't hold Mighty Mopar. Come on. You know what I'm saying? I got a plethora of souls I take to the altar of Mopar. They don't want none, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, KWT all the way. You know what we doing. Snatching souls, baby. Peace. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, now it is. And this one, I got to start the bottom. Lit though. 
He read it. Well, he let me drive that car. <laughs> no, Hornbuckle been doing a hell of a job, man. Now nah, he has dealing with this track too. Listen, I'll be honest with you, they're basically a tie. Uh, these cars are amazing. 10-8, 10-9, 10-7. Uh, really proud of Hulk. Great job by the red eye with a tire. Full interior, both cars full interior. We try to make it as fair as possible, both on pump gas. And uh, very happy. The car's getting hot. You know, 130, 120, and now we're 124, so she's tired. But uh, no, that was 129, brother. 129. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. All right. Good. Yeah, okay. Good. Take the ticket. Uh, 129. Uh, still finicky. Okay. He red lit. Okay. Yeah, he red lit. So we got two out of three. Oh. Okay. Cool. That's, That's what's what I was up. Trying to say. I you thought I lost. No. You got, oh. You got an automatic win. All right. Cool. Night. Yo. All right. That. Yo. Thank you so much, Steph. I wish Steph was in the driver's seat, but it's, we're gonna do it. We got a surprise coming soon. So proud of this car. Two out of three. Ain't bad. Against uh, Red Eye. Appreciate but I have a question you. for you, though. Yo. Which car runs a faster ET? The faster ET right now, from what we've seen, is the Red Eye. Guys, when I tell y'all something, you better listen. Because Martafine be knowing. I told y'all that the Red Eye was going to be faster than the GT500 in a quarter mile on a prep surface. I told y'all that. Everybody thought I was crazy. Even Mopar guys was like, oh no, that, that red eye, I don't know, the GT500 might win. I'm like, yo, get the f out of here. Anyway, there it is, guys. The red eye all day ran faster than the GT500. The GT500, I think the best that Stangmo was able to get out of that GT500 all day was like 1107. Um, and the best that the red eye was able to get on a similar tire, the Nitto NT05, was a 10.4. Bro, that's 0.3 difference. That's huge. And then the mile an hour was a lot closer than I thought. That red eye was running high 128s and 129 all day. All day that car was running that, unless it spun. On my particular run, you guys saw that it spun. Throughout the day, you know, as the prep went away, the car was spinning but that's how it is man that's that's drag racing now as far as the racing yes staying mode one on that technicality out of the best of three first race i spun second race the red eye just won clean third race the red eye would have won but he red lit happens it is what it is but either way you saw the data is there if you want to go out and buy a 2020 car that is the fastest production car on the drag strip your only option right now is the Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye. It's going to beat that GT500 every single time on this, on similar conditions. As long as it hooks up, you're out. Like, that's it. It's not, it's no, no argument there. So, guys, I'm glad that we was able to put this to bed. Uh, all of you trolls on Instagram and YouTube, Shut up forever. Shut the F up forever. When Montefiore say something, I know what I'm talking about. I don't speak from a place of ignorance. I speak from a place of data and education. I looked at the 60 foots of the two cars and I saw that that car was going to 60 foot 17. And I looked at the power difference and I looked at the fact that it's only a 300 pound difference between the cars. And I said, it's no way F in hell that car is going to make up. The red eye was 60 foot in high one fours it's not going to make up a 0.3 difference of a 60 foot and it held it all the way 0.3 at the beginning 0.3 difference in the time at the end so there you go man special thanks goes out to stang mode i i want you guys to understand you guys beef with each other 
we are all friends. Me, Stangmo, Demonology, and now even Tang Stang GT500, which we got a chance to hang out with, who's a cool dude, man, with a very fast car, who had a rough day with the track. It just wasn't there. That track wasn't there. So a lot of times we spent a lot of time fighting the track or rather than the driver. However, that GT500, bro, that car was consistent. It ran 10 8s all day. One ten seven, but 10 8s all day. Uh, ran the same 60 foot. And only time he spun was once. Yeah, like once I think I saw uh, Stangmold spin. But for the rest of the time, Stangmold is a hell of a driver, by the way, at the drag strip. He is. Demonology, hell of a driver at the drag strip. You know what I'm saying? I give it to these guys. They got it. They got a lot of seat time. I'm going to work on that a little bit more this year. But anyway, guys, yo, I hope you like this video. Special shout out to Hornbuckle Detailing, who brought the car all the way, all the way from Alabama. That and the demon, man. Matt really came through in the clutch, baby. Shout out to Gary, who helped out. And, you know, incredible Hemi, who was there helping out. Yo, man, it was small, but we kept it tight and we kept it fun. If you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos going forward. But until the next one.